Captain Jim Farley, my retired 64-year-old grandfather, and I'm very concerned about the future of my grandsons. I have four grandsons. In a time of global climate change, it's a crime against nature to be taking down so many trees. The Matthew Henson Bicycle Trail will take down 12 acres of trees. I'm surrounded by a very significant wetland, as you can see all around me. The trail is going to come through here and go down that steep slope. In order to do that, they're going to have to regrade this area. In other words, take a lot of dirt from up this high area and move it down below into the wetland. Uh, again, in the time of global climate change, why are we impacting these wetlands? And again, several big trees have been taken down in order just to do this. This is wrong. This clearing is too big. Why? Why this for an eight-foot asphalt road? This is a temporary bridge crossing Belpre Creek. It's composed of four areas of steel I-beams. In between are like railroad ties. This temporary bridge again is put here so a crane can come and put in a prefabricated permanent bridge. Why spend all this money doing a temporary bridge when the same workman that built this bridge could have built the permanent bridge right from the start? This is duplication of effort and a waste of money, quite frankly. That's a lot of material in there, both steel and, and wood, for a temporary purpose. And to bring the crane in, they have to do a lot of forest clearing. Look at this little stream. There's cribbing going up there, and these steel beams will then construct the temporary bridge. And then the crane will come to put in the tournament bridge. Uh, totally unprotected, the silt fence is down. In digging the foundations, they just put the dirt right next to the stream bed. So that when the rain comes, this is going to be a major disaster here. A major sediment release is going to happen here. All this area here is going to go into that little creek. Okay, look, look at the size of this clearing. It's going to be a parking lot for trail users. Extensive forest was cleared. Look at the pile of wood chips here. That was once a, this was once a forest that sequestered carbon in the time of global climate warming. All these trees were taken down. Twelve acres of trees are coming down. It's not, it's not, it's not comprehensible in the time of global warming to take down twelve acres of trees. We're at the place where the Matthew Henson Bike Trail will cross Bears Mill Road near Turkey Branch Parkway. As you can see, this is a very large area. There'll be no red lights, no red light signals. There'll be blinking yellow lights only. They have to cross five lanes of traffic and another two lanes of service road. In order to do that, they have to go to the green medium strip wait for the signal to change Randolph Road and then cross. So I hope this is going to work out. I don't think I have it clear, but we try to tell them this is a dangerous situation that is not fit for mums with strollers or kids on skateboards or, or young bikers that have to cross this very dangerous intersection. 85,000 cars use this road every day. And this is a Saturday afternoon. You can see these cars are coming down at 50, 50 miles per hour. Imagine what happened it was a rainy day. It would be very difficult for a car to stop. Hi, right, this is a big pile of wood chips here. Look at all these logs that have been harvested. This project, the Matthew Henson Hiker Biker Trail, is costing the taxpayers more than $1 million per mile. The cost is even more than that because there's also hidden, ant, hidden land acquisition costs that have been covered up. Uh, basically, why? this kind of devastation in a time of global climate warming. This is an example, again, of poor environmental unsustainable design.